Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, August. Uh, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. This section is really for those that just, just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. So we're going to take a look and see who's showing up, uh, just kind of see what they're thinking, see what they're feeling regarding you and the situation, of course, vice versa as well. I won't clarify the cards uh, on camera, I'll, I'll do that after, um, but just give you guys a, a foundation of the spread on camera. So I'm going to take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Leah, let's start your reading. And of course, uh, just take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most with you. And of course, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. Um, all right, so you're showing up as the moon. You're showing up as the moon currently when it comes to you and this person. Uh, Leo, which kind of represents you displaying on the surface, on the outside, so people looking in, one one thing, one way of being, um, which is completely different to what's going on for you internally, what's going on for you within. Um, you know, there is a level of emotional maturity around this for you because something's changed. Something's changed and you're just kind of processing it. That's what's going on. You're processing this um, this shift and we're going to touch on that tower in the moment because that has something to do with it. It's tied to just kind of what's going on for you at the moment. But there's emotional maturity around this because there is this awareness of, okay, if this is not the person for me, if this is not something that is um, quote unquote destined to be within my, my path or this person within my future, then that means that I have to start to think about, you know, the possibilities of other things. It's that type of thing. I feel like maybe there's been a bit of time. For some of you, it's different. For some of you, you've had time to digest that idea, that digest that feeling. And for some of you, it's raw. It's kind of just coming up now for you. But there is that awareness. Again, going back to this Queen of Cups, this emotional maturity around that, though. There is a level of... Um, uh, yeah, that's the best way I can kind of des describe it, is this emotional maturity around what's going on you and this person. This person can kind of get a sense, they're showing up as the emperor. Um, this is either them being a very just kind of dominant type of character or they're displaying those characteristics at the moment, this um, taking the reins on this situation simply because of where you're both standing. They're seeing this as, they're seeing you as someone that yes of course they've laid some form of foundation with, with the four of, of, uh, of of wands there but they are holding certain things in what they're holding in is this feeling of i mean they're picking up on 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 certain things as well maybe unbeknownst to some of you as well but there is this feeling of them maybe losing you as well or you slipping away mm, no let's rewind it's not so much slipping away it's more about them losing you um, hence why they're kind of showing up or displaying these characteristics it's like this person doesn't want to let go this person doesn't want to even allow you to get too far away um, or even indulge in, in, in that type of uh, possibility because they're very much still drawn to you. There's a pull that they do have um, towards you. Something happened, going back to that 10, sorry, that tower card. So something happened, I don't know what it is. I don't know what, I do apologize if I shook that camera. I don't know what that tower represents. For some of you it's, Something that you found out, something that you've realized, something that, I mean, you know, apply it where it fits, guys. But whatever that is, it represents the crumbling of something, this feeling of things coming, uh, crumbling down. As much as there is this, or awareness of you having this strong emotional uh, connection to this person, you are processing things because things in some way, shape or form 
it's crumpling. It could be something, I don't want to use the word small, but it could be something small just in terms of, yeah, it could be anything. And you and you need to, you want him to remain strong or trying to kind of hold yourself together, you know, with that knowledge, really. Hold yourself together with that knowledge because at one point you was happy. We do have that nine of cups there, which talks about emotional happiness. You know, this person was, and this connection was making you happy. You was emotionally happy with this, but of course with this tower moment, this whatever that is, is brought a halt to that. It's kind of paused the brakes on that. And now it's like, well, this is kind of where you guys are coming from. Now it's like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to acknowledge that. I can't acknowledge those feelings that I have because now I see the bigger picture. I see something more. My perception or perspective on things have changed. And this person kind of woke up or I'm not sure whether there was some communication which caused this person to realize something but there was this realization around them with that page, <clears throat> excuse me, with that pray, page, uh, something that they needed to process um, and something that they wanted things to turn around on. In fact, there was this feeling of, I gotta uh, come out on top when it comes to this, or I gotta get a handle on that, on this. Yeah. That, that queen kind of just represents, and this uh, eight just represents this walking away from whatever it is that you guys were going through, bringing it into a better place, ultimately. Bring it into a place of, um, you know, alignment, what you guys have already built, what you've established with that queen of um, pentacles there. Yeah. So like I said, now it's a case of you it seems like you're you're definitely not being expressive and that's where that moon comes in you're like it's like you're displaying you, you're not you're not you're not you're not how do i put that you're not just you're not being honest it's not even so much honesty because i don't even think this person is asking you those questions or even asking questions it's you just not showing or displaying what's going on for you internally when it comes to this, that's what's going on. Um, you know, this person is kind of picking up on on something. They're not telling you, they're holding that back, like I said, but there is this feeling of, of loss. Um, like I said, they are still drawn towards you. There is still this pull towards you. So they are wanting to, with that, <laughs> with that king there, there is this, okay, so I got to deal with this a bit different. For some of you, it's something that you might have, communicated with this person about in the past um but there is for them this feeling of okay i gotta be strategic in terms of just how i handle this i gotta be delicate i gotta be cognizant mindful of how how i deal with this um, because they're wanting wanting that ten of, of of cups there this person was emotionally fulfilled by this i'm not sure what that that tower card um is or what that was but this person is not really letting go um yeah, I, I even I would I would go so far as to say this person is I've choosing to ignore what they kind of feel because they are picking up on stuff. Um, but I feel like they're kind of bypassing that. You know, when you don't want to acknowledge something, it's like no, I'm not even going to accept that reality because this is what I want. This is how I how I feel. Um, so we're going to move into the extended version, see where this moves to. Like I said, this person is not really looking to let go. It's so it seems but that might not be, I mean, it's not even, I mean, yeah, that might not have any impact on where you're, you're moving to. Um, in fact, I would go so far as to say for some of you, if you've had struggle in the past of kind of moving away from this person or leaving this person or making a change in your life, or when it comes to this connection, that's going to become a lot easier for you to do. So link is in the description bar below, and I shall see you guys in a bit.